Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So today, I didn't realize, but apparently the 22nd, which is in two days from the day that I'm filming this today, um, is the first day of fall. So today I wanted to do a fall makeup look and I actually just got in some new Huda Beauty. There was this really pretty dark nude palette that I have been dying to get and it was on sale so I swiped it up and I got just a couple not much just a few other items to try out that were on sale too because they were having like a big sale so so excited for this palette I thought we could create a really pretty fall eyeshadow look since it's officially fall yay I am so excited to try this out. I do have her other two nude palettes that are like this. Um, so this is the light, this is the medium, and then I just got the new dark one. Um, but if you don't know, these are the Nude Obsessions palettes. It's basically just pretty little nude eyeshadow palettes um, for different skin tones. But I mean, I like all three. I have been dying to get my hands on this one. So I'm so excited for us to do a fall eyeshadow look and happy fall y'all. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to try out today obviously is our dark nude or actually it's called rich, but y'all the packaging on these are gorgeous. Look how pretty. Love the packaging on these. I mean, look at that y'all. If that don't scream fall, I don't know what does. I mean, that is everything you need for fall. I'm so excited. I did go ahead and do most of my face makeup. Um, and I used all Huda products pretty much except for, um, well, actually, I used Huda foundation, concealer, and setting powder, and bronzer just to kind of stay within the family. Let's go ahead and start with the eyes. I think today we'll use our my new little brushes I got from Pure in my BoxyCharm. That video is coming, so y'all stay tuned for that one. Up first, we're gonna do a super smoky fall look today, so. First, we're gonna go into this middle shade here, and we're gonna put that kind of in the crease as the transition shade. Y'all, look at this color. Like, these colors are so pigmented. It's ridiculous. My husband and me were having a debate because I was like, I want to decorate for fall today. And I really want to just, like, deep clean the house. What is that? Is that, like, a bump? Why is it black? What in the world is on my eye? I think that's a bump. I don't know. Hmm. Anyways. Um, so I wanted to decorate the house for fall today and I wanted to clean everything real good like just give it a good deep clean in and decorate and I'm gonna switch over to my fluffy brush that I normally use from Sigma to blend this because I think I need a, a bigger brush to blend this out so anyways my plan was to decorate for fall today and deep clean the house and he was like isn't it kind of early for that and I'm like, um, I have been counting down the days until the first day of fall so that I can do all the fall things. So I was like, um, what's the date today? And he was like, uh, the 20th, I think. And I said, mm-hmm. And the first day of fall is the 22nd. So it is time. And I really want to decorate my house today for fall. And I'm just feeling the fall. I got on my fall sweater and I don't even care if it's like 80 degrees outside I'm gonna wear it I don't care I'm not going outside anyways really other than maybe to decorate the porch so I'm not worried about it okay then we'll take this same brush and we're gonna go into this deeper shade right here and we're gonna bring that down just a hair so like we started started from the bottom now we're here in the crease and blend it up then this one's gonna go in the crease and blend it down like this okay do y'all see that we just put it in the crease and blend it down to the lid kind of like that I will say these little palettes from Huda these little like 
How many's in here? Nine? Yeah, nine. Are like some of my favorite palettes ever to use. Like, I just feel like they're the perfect size. They're so easy. It's not like overwhelming. Sometimes when there's too many decisions or choices for me, I can't decide and I get overwhelmed and then I end up like messing it up. So, love these little eyeshadows. I think I have like five of them now or more. Two, three, four, five. I think I have six. I could just get all of them because I love them so much. All right, then I'm going to take my blending brush and just kind of buff out the edge over here a little bit so it's not like a harsh line. Just blending it up and out. Then, the fun part. Um, we're going to go into this super dark shade right here. It's like almost black. And I'm going to use my same brush and we're going to pack that onto the lid. And then when you think you've had like a good amount of this dark color on the lid, I'm going to pop a little bit more. Then take whatever's left on your brush and just blend it up into the crease. Just like that. Y'all see how smoky and pretty that is? Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay. Um, this would also be really pretty if you did a nude on the lid and let it smoke into this color. Like, that would be so pretty too. But for fall, I think this is more fall. So, same thing on this side. This is such a pretty dark too because it's not black like when you put it on. It's almost like a deep, 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 deep berry color. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to take my blending brush and jump into this lightest shade that we used at first. And I'm just going to try to blend in the edge just a little bit, just to kind of make it a little more seamless, just like that. Then we're going to go with our pencil brush and we're going to jump and do the bottom lid. We'll do this middle color all over the bottom lid, like that. Then... Then I'm going to take my same pencil brush and go into the deeper shade, that middle shade that we used, and do the outer edge of the bottom lid. Okay, and we're done with the eyeshadow. There's so many pretty shimmers in here. You could do a shimmery lid if you wanted, but me personally, I'm just into more of a matte look today. Um, there's not really a good highlight shade in here. That's going to be light enough for me. Again, this is the dark nude. Um, so I am going to jump into, um, I'm going to jump into this e.l.f. highlight that I used on my face. And I'm just going to highlight the brow bone just a little. Then we'll do just a little bit on the inner corner. Just to kind of brighten the eyes a little bit. Okay, for a liner, I do have Huda's liner. I tried it out. I did a full face of Huda, so go check that out if you hadn't. Um, but this is her life liner. And on one end you have pencil, and on the other end you have liquid. So we're gonna use this just to stick with the, the same brand. I'll go in first with the liquid. This personally isn't my favorite kind of liner just because I don't like dipping and this applicator is very hard for me to use personally I just prefer like a marker type of liquid eyeliner um but here it goes all right there's one wing done and my children are playing with my husband in the living room it's so like if y'all can hear, that's my family. That's all right. It's one of my favorite sounds to hear. Okay. I would like to point out with this liner, for some reason, like, it is such an intense, like, waterproof tight, like, firm liner that when it touches your eyelashes, I'm trying not to touch my eyelashes with it because it makes your eyelashes turn into like glue and clump together. So try not to hit my lashes with it, but. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. And I've got a clump where it touched my lashes. Ugh. I have to keep makeup wipes handy because I make lots of mistakes when I do my makeup. So then we're gonna take the other end that is a roll-up liner. And we're gonna go on the waterline. And then 
I like to kind of try to connect this outer triangle to the bottom lid a little bit. Kind of like that, just to kind of connect it like that. It gives you that. Okay. I will say as far as the as far as the liner goes, like I said, not crazy about this one. Um did just get one, this one from Flower Beauty, and it looks like they're getting rid of it. So y'all need to go grab it. It is my favorite to line the waterline with because it's a thick, like a super thick coal pencil, and it's just it just glides on and it's dark and it stays. And it's not sharp and pointy to like where you're going to poke your eye with it like I always do. Um, so that one is my favorite for the waterline. Oh my gosh, do y'all see this? <sighs> Golly. Okay, try this again. I think we're good. I think we're good with the eyeliner. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, so now let's go in with another new product. So this is a sample that they gave me of, what is the name? Legit Lashes. Ooh, that's kind of neat that they gave me a sample of this. Kind of shows you how it works. It's got two ends. One's for volume and one is for curl and length. Okay. This is a little strange and there's nothing on here. So this was the volume one. This is very strange. Oh my gosh, it's literally like just a packet of mascara with a wand stuck in it. So there's the wand, it's odd. And then this one is for curl and length, which that's the kind of wand that I hate. Ugh. So I don't know if you're supposed to do like both, two mascaras in one, or just like pick one. It doesn't really say, it just says, so on this, she used volume and curl and length. So I guess we'll do both. Okay, so this is the volume. And this is so cool. I have never seen a sample mascara before like this. I've seen the little tramp, trample. Travel sized sample ones, but not like, I've got this one. You have got to go. Can't have one hair sticking up like that. Ugh. Um, anyways, never seen a mascara, like, sample packet before, but funny story. That eyebrow hair just made me think of when I went on my first date with my husband. He had an eyebrow hair sticking out, like, straight out like that, a super long one. And I could see it, like, in the truck when I was riding with him, and I was like, I've got to get that. That is driving me crazy. But I didn't say anything, obviously, because I didn't know when it was our first date. And flash forward to like three dates later, that joker was still there. And I was like, I have got to do something. So finally, I was just like, you have this eyebrow and it has been bothering me since our first date. And he's like, what? <laughs> and he was like trying to get rid of it. And he was like embarrassed. And I was like, yeah. I showed him where it was so now he knows he's got this one hair that grows out like super long and he always has to trim it and I'll tell him you got that eyebrow hair sticking out it's time to trim it again okay this stuff is legit it's called legit lashes and y'all what I hadn't even used the other one I just used the volumizing I love if I'd have known it worked like this I would have grabbed one because this is insane I mean this is like my Too Faced. Oh my gosh, do y'all see what I just did? Just smeared mascara on my face. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Get these done first. Yeah, these, this brush is awesome. When I saw it, I thought it was kinda similar to the Too Faced a little bit, but this thing works good. It's hard to use this little, it's hard to hold this, but now I know I like it, I can get the big size. Cause these are insane. Wow, wow, okay. It like separates every lash, but it fluffs them up too, which never usually happens. Usually if it separates them, it doesn't look full. And if it makes them look full, then they're like clumped together. I'm impressed and we got to get rid of this. It's a little better. I have a little spot, but it's okay. 
All right, let's see how the other the other uh, wand works. This usually is the kind of wand that I hate. Honestly, if I were to buy it, I probably wouldn't even use this side. I would only use the volumizing one. But I mean, y'all, wow. That is like, that's my real lashes looking like this. If you hadn't watched my previous videos or if you're new to my channel, um, I do not wear any fake lashes or extensions or anything. I just can't do it. As far as things like that go, I just prefer to be real. I just feel like my eyes look ridiculous and I just can't stand the way it feels. I just would prefer to like accentuate my own natural lashes and face and not fake ones like nothing against people who do fake ones i'm jealous because like i feel like it looks good on everyone else and on me it just doesn't but i just have to use what i got wow i almost think i like it better before i used this like i liked it better without Ugh, this is like ripping my eyelashes out it's so thick maybe we'll use this one for the bottom lashes I am super impressed with these. I definitely want to go buy this now. And I mean, the volumizing one, I would for sure use. Like, look at this. Maybe I would just use the other one for the bottom and this one for the top. But like, they're like about to be touching my, my lid. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Love. Okay. And then lastly, I got two new lip products. Huda's lip products are some of my favorite. I have another one of these little tins over here. Um, it's a lip kit. This one is Bombshell and Ritzy are the shades in this one. But this one looked a little darker and I thought maybe this would be good for fall. And then they also had this that was on sale and it's a liquid matte in the shade Crush. So we'll swatch them. So this is Crush. Just a super pretty matte like nudie peachy color and then this is in the shade muse and angelic and it comes with a lip liner a matte lip and then a lip gloss or like a lip strobe is what they call it but i think we'll use i don't know if we'll do the gloss today let's swatch these so this is the liner Ooh, so pretty like that goes so well with the eyes it's like a deep berryish mauve then this is the Muse Liquid Matte Lip. Same color as the liner. Y'all, that color would be so pretty with this too. And then Angelic Lip Strobe, which is like her glosses. Y'all look how gorgeous. It's like a champagne-y gold pink. I think I want to do just a matte lip today for fall. So, all right, so let's go in first with Muse. All right, and then let's go in with our matte lip. Y'all look at this color. Oh, this color is gorgeous. <sighs> Try to let it dry real good. That's like spot on too. Like it goes so well with the eyeshadow. Look at that. That is so pretty. Um, I do have Huda's Set and Spray, but I am not going to use it because it gives me a migraine. Like the rest of her makeup has a slight smell, but the Set and Spray kills me. I cannot do it. And I've had a headache for the past like five days. Um, ever since I started this diet, I've had a headache, so it's gone right now, and I do not want to bring it back. So we're going to use we're going to use something different. I'm gonna go in with this Ciate um, Everyday Vacay. It's a super fine one. I got this in one of my Boxy Charms, and I love it. So it smells like coconut, but that's not really fall. But I don't care. It feels super good. All right, y'all. So this is our finished look. I think it turned out gorgeous. Um, love the eyeshadow like this. I feel like it just makes my green pop. I think the lip matches perfect. If they still have this palette on sale, y'all need to go grab it and any of the other palettes too because they are bomb, like amazing. But I think this turned out so pretty. 
love. So I feel like I'm ready to go drink some kind of pumpkin something and decorate for fall. So anyways, I hope y'all like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe and click that notification bell. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.